Hello friends, Amanda here from Handmade No Hallmark. Today I want to share with you this really cute, simple, quick card using the Tweet Bird stamp set from the newest spring release. This card is super quick and easy and anyone can create it. Let's get into it. I'm going to be using the Tweet Birdie stamp set from the newest spring release. I just love this stamp set and all of the cute images. They're very versatile and you can use them for a variety of occasions. I'm going to start down by stamping my images using my Misty Stamp Positioner and my T-square roller to get a nice straight line of images. I'm using some Copic Friendly cardstock from my stash and I used a stitched border rectangle die from my stash as well to create the stitch detail around the outside of my panel. I'm going to stamp down my images and I used the T-square roller to make sure my images were nice and straight. This isn't necessary but I wanted to make sure that they were all in a nice even line so I had room at the bottom for my nice straight grading going to be using some Copic Friendly ink because I do plan on using my Copic markers to color in these sweet little images. Once I had my images stamped down, I wanted to work on the greeting. I wanted to do a nice two-tone greeting because I really like that the greetings in the stamp set have different fonts and I really think doing a two-tone stamping is a great way to accent that different types of fonts. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get these birdhouses put away and I'm going to put my panel back in my misty and I'm going to take out the greeting that says there's no place like home and I really think this is a sweet set. You could use this for a you know welcome to the neighborhood or for somebody who's moved into a new house or anything like that and I really like the idea of doing a two-tone because you could kind of coordinate it to whoever you're sending it to. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mask off the area that I want to be in the color and I'm going to take the other part and I'm going to stamp it down with a nice black ink. I'm just using some post-it tape to cover over that area that I want to be in color and then I'll remove that, stamp down the words I want in black and I'll do the same process as I did with the black as I do with the color. I'm going to clean off my stamp, I'm going to mask off the areas that I don't want color, and then I'm going to stamp down the colored portion. You could use any color here. I wanted mine to coordinate with the colors I plan on using and the pattern paper I plan on using later. So I took out some picked raspberry distress oxide ink, and I really think this looks really sweet. A nice way to kind of liven up a greeting. Next I'm going to get right into the coloring. All of my colors will be listed on the screen. I'm going to put on some music and when we're all finished, we'll come back and finish up together.
Once my coloring was all finished, we were getting ready to assemble the card. I just took some patterned paper from my stash and I also used a scalloped rectangle die to create my little background panel. And I decided I needed a little bit more color in the background, so I took out some pink cardstock from my stash and attached it to a top folding A2 sized card base. And I really think it brings out the pink tones in the birdhouses and the pattern paper. I'm just using some tape runner to tape it down to my panel here, and we're going to get assembly. Again, this card is super simple. You could mass produce this card pretty easily. Um, it's very minimal coloring. This card took me less than 25 minutes to create. So again, you could do a mass production stamping, mass production coloring, and die cutting, and you could make a whole bunch of these cards for a gift set or anything like that. Just so you have them on hand is a great way to create nice and quick, simple cards. Using some liquid glue to attach my floral panel down and then I'm going to use some 3M foam tape to attach my main panel with my birdhouses. I really wanted to pop up this particular portion just because there is no other dimension on this card. It's a fairly flat card and I really like the look of it with a little bit of dimension. It gives it a little bit more character. Get this adhered down and then we'll go in with, with a few finishing details to add a little bit more interest. Get that aligned here. And I love the little birdhouses, how they match with the pattern paper as well. Another great way to kind of create a nice set of cards, you could choose different colors of pattern paper and match your little birdhouses to that as well. I had a few areas that bled over with my Copic marker, so I just took my white gel pen and colored in those areas to kind of help hide it a little bit. Then I went in with the same white gel pen and added a little bit of highlight detail. You could leave this step out, but I really like doing it because I think it adds a little bit of interest and character to the images. Once that was all finished, I went in with a glitter brush pen and added a little bit of shimmer to the openings of the birdhouses and then went over top with some glossy accents. And that will finish up this card for today. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button. And if you'd like to see more videos here at the Possum Stamps YouTube channel, please hit the subscribe as well as the notification bell so you don't miss out on any more videos here at the Possum Stamps YouTube channel. The spring release is available now over at the Possum Stamps website. You can find the link listed below if you're interested in any of the new products. I hope you have a wonderful day. I'll see you again real soon. Bye. <laughs>